How will 5G change the world of AR and VR? You've no doubt noticed that 5G has been hijacking the headlines lately. The rollout of the fifth generation technology standard for cellular networks has been fraught with controversy. Whether it's the troubled business deal between the UK government and tech supplier Huawei, or the insane conspiracy theories that 5G masks are responsible for transmitting the coronavirus. Here at F*** Me It's the Future, however, we're going to take a more optimistic look at things and discover how 5G will transform the exciting world of AR and VR. To start with, there's the most obvious difference. More bandwidth will be available and data transmission will be a lot faster. VR and AR services, particularly the VR applications that rely on building and maintaining an entire virtual world, are very demanding in terms of bandwidth and latency. With 5G as standard, AR and VR experiences will be conveyed to users with frictionless speed, immersive and instantaneous experiences in a world where the concept of downloading has been forever replaced by real-time streaming. How much faster than 4G are we talking? Well, estimates claim that 5G offers a 10 times increase in throughput, 10 times decrease in latency, and 100 times increase in traffic capacity. With faster, more uniform data rates, lower latency and lower cost per bit, the VR and AR revolution will speed up overnight. Looking for more specifics, a recent report from ABI Research points out some immediate 5G applications. Among them is automotive video streaming. Streaming AR and VR content to a moving vehicle will soon be a seamless problem-free experience. That dull half-hour taxi ride could soon turn into an unforgettable VR adventure as you strap on a headset in the back seat. Large-scale multi-person VR and AR experiences will also become less of a problem. Multiple users of AR and VR devices at a densely populated venue would put a severe strain on current capacity and latency abilities. 5G and cloud computing facilities will ensure that immersive AR and VR experiences in venues and arenas become more of a common event in the future. The revamped cloud computing opportunities of 5G will also change the way we use AR and VR devices. Currently, for example, a purchase of a VR headset like the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift is on par with buying a new car, television or console system, perhaps something that will be replaced once every five years or so. Future VR headsets may be the equivalent of the smartphone that gets replaced every one or two years. The actual physical advances of the tech comes in small increments, while the big developments stem from cloud technology. In fact, in a world where VR headsets function as more of a portable receiver than a processing unit within their own right, it is estimated that by 2025 the market volume of cloud VR and AR will be $292 billion and AR looks set to be similarly profitable with the rise of 5G, especially in the gaming sector. Intel believe that by 2028, AR games are predicted to make up more than 90% of 5G AR revenues, or around $36 billion globally. What do you think? What are the 5G developments you're looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and share.